There's no such thing as work-life balance. None! Just fucking do it. Subscribe now. In that vein, because in his one and only previous video from about three and a half years ago, two and a half years ago, it took him two and a half years to do the deal. It was a uh, $4.9 billion deal, of which he only got $31 million. Because when you do, and I haven't got to that part yet, when you do uh, not just cross-continent, cross, uh, around the world deals, and you use, uh, you're using foreign governments, and you have foreign uh, chairmen, et cetera, et cetera, they can't necessarily be dependent on. And uh, partially through the deal, um, the, the first $180 million came in. It was the first tranche. It was five tranches. Up to a little short of $5 billion, as I recall. And I told him, I, I, I'd take a haircut and get all your fees up front. Now, he was going to make about two, I don't know, two, 250 bu million bucks. And he says, well, he didn't want to do that. He had worked two and a half years on the deal. He didn't want to do it. And you wouldn't want to do it either. Most of you wouldn't have listened to me. Uh, but he did listen to me. And as we went on camera, he opened up his uh, mailbox, whatever you call it, and he says 31 million 560 hit his account. To him, his, his account. Not a big deal, but anyway, 31 million. And all the other professionals in the deal, as I recall, PwC, blah, 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 didn't want to take a haircut. They'd worked two and a half years on the deal, so they're not going to take a reduction in the fee. Haircut means a reduction in the fee. There was about two and a half million dollars on fees, as I recall. And uh, shortly thereafter, the deal disintegrated. There was 180 million that transferred, 31 went to him, 150 disappeared, and the rest of the 4.9 billion disappeared. Happens all the time. Middle East, China, Korea, all the time it disappeared. And we know where it goes, don't we? Into the pockets of the fucking thieves that are in government. So then, uh, the uh, the rest of the professionals in the transaction came to his door, and he used to live, I think, in the penthouse of uh, Four Seasons at Kuala Lumpur or someplace. I mean, he lives like King Farouk. I mean, he lived like a king, okay, before he ever met me. He lives large, not just because he weighed 9,000 pounds. He lives large. Um, and uh, I told him to tell everybody to fuck off. You get no fee. You had a chance, and you said no. And I also told him to move because I said, you're going to be dead. And he moved to an undisclosed place. Now, now he lives in another penthouse, five times bigger. And we're going to talk to him in an hour or so. Um, but the, the method to the madness is when I tell you to take the money and put it in your pocket and run like a thief in the night, you are a fucking moron. And most of you won't. Even though I'm telling you this story, even though we don't use that webinar anymore with him live, telling you, take the fucking money and run like a thief in the night, you won't. Why? self -satisfied. Because you don't, you don't really want to have any money. You want to be able to say, QLA didn't work because I was a meathead, stupid motherfucker. I can give you example after example after example. Well, I don't want to get it. I don't, I, I'm not going to take a haircut for $150 million less than I'm supposed to get. That's what you'd say. I didn't come to... Because you don't want it. If there's not three people in this room that really believe they deserve generational wealth. Not three. Maybe two and a half. 